Zach Fanatic Addicts to another high octane episode of the Fan and Fanatic Pep Rally. So, without further ado, let's get into the first segment inside the mind of the Fanatic. Take it away, Father. Okay, uh, this first one is fantastic because I have absolutely no idea and I cannot wait to hear where this comes from. Oh, so I have a search that says, which team in orange did Charlie Patino play for? So, um, I, a few days, so I've been, I've been into English football a lot lately. Shout out to all my, all, all my fans in England. And one of the, and so one of the team. One team was doing a chant about how much they love Charlie Patino, and like he's, it was like one of the one of the lines was the boys in tangerine, and yeah. So uh, I'm okay. trying well, to figure out who that we was. just play for. What is the orange team? Uh, oh man. So he's a he's a soccer player. Uh huh. And I can't exactly remember the name of the team that was the or that was the boys in tangerine. <laughs> okay. What is it? Do I, I don't know. I don't only have a, a screenshot of your your search. I don't have the results. Oh, well, all I have is uh, he's an English footballer who plays as a midfielder for EFL Championship Club. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, folks, go Google it yourself. That would be a lot of fun. I'm so, Maybe to I'm sorry if I didn't. Kate, the fan and the fan, uh, Google searches. Um, okay. All right, this is good. Oh, goodness. This is for English football, my garden shed. Oh, yes. May I? May I? <laughs> so, some English football chants, like, some English football fans, when they're at road stadiums, they, they do a ch this chant, which is basically mocking the, the size of the stadium compared to it. So, all right, are you ready? <laughs> my God. So, my garden shed is bigger than this. My garden shed is bigger than this. It's got a door and a window. My garden shed is bigger than this. My boxer shorts are bigger than this. My boxer shorts are bigger than this. It's got a hole and a skid mark. My boxer shorts are bigger than this. My bungee's cage is bigger than this. My budgie's cage is bigger than this. It's got a perch and a mirror. My budgie's cage is bigger than this. Wow. I hope everyone was able to turn down the volume when listening to that because that got uh, that got uh, that got loud. Sorry about that. The the songs for the these are English football teams, English footballers is to the tune of when the Saints go marching in. That's uh, a, you know, you know the story behind that, but we don't have time for that. All right, moving on. Uh, those are all the searches I have. So I guess we'll move into this week in sports history. You go first, partner. I shall do that. I found this to be very fascinating. Uh, so this week in 1954, the first Sports Illustrated magazine issue uh, was released. You know how much it cost? Like knowing prices back then, like a, a like ten cents. Yeah. Okay. Not a, yeah. Twenty five cents. Uh, and on the cover, can you guess what was on the cover? The first Sports Illustrated magazine ever. Well, I don't know the words Sports Illustrated probably. Nice. Well done. No. Well, there's usually athletes or something happening. I don't know. Yeah, well, you know what? Your enthusiasm is uh, about it uh, is a, is is actually on par with what was on it. So nothing nothing big. Uh, it was a game at Milwaukee's County Stadium. Uh, Eddie Matthews of the Braves actually uh, was uh, swinging, uh, and Wes Westrom was catching, and Augie Don Tanelli was umpiring. So that was the cover of the first Sports Illustrated. Issued with a price tag of 25 cents in 1954. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Okay. All right. As for my fact, on this day in 1945, Chandler sells World Series radio rights for $150,000 to Gillette. Ford had been World Series sponsor since 1934, paid $100,000 annually. Wow. That's pretty good. That's pretty All good. Right. 
Now let's get into the third segment. Wait, wait. There's one thing I need to say first. Uh oh. Oh goodness. Do you guys know what episode this is? Breaking the fourth wall. Podcast. No. Your pep rally. Yeah. What do you know? Nine. Nine. Oh, ten. Oh, ten. Yeah, it's your tenth episode. Wow, our Bro, tenth ten. anniversary. Wow. Maybe? Is that it? No, tenth episode. Oh, ten ep- weeks of doing anniversary. Oh boy, and it all comes crashing down. I feel like maybe we're like live doing an NBA draft podcast. Are we gonna hear a shattering? <laughs> yeah. We yeah, got cause... dogs. Barking. We got producers button in the middle of the thing. So yeah. hey, partner, happy tenth pep rally episode, partner. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, coming up on the show this week, we'll be talking to a man among giants, a giant among men, a legend in the in the sports broadcasting field of sports, the voice, the voice of the Tennessee Volunteers, Mr. Bob Kessling. I mean, it's only right to do that because college football season is right around the corner. So, you know, I feel like it was just yesterday that that Georgia got their, that Georgia, that TCU got their butts kicked by Georgia in the championship game. Sorry, TCU. Sunday, August 26th is when college football season starts, by the way. But anyways, yeah, tune in on Tuesday to hear Bob, to hear the amazing Bob Kessling. All right, from our broadcast partner, Ryan Grilecki, this is Parker Grilecki saying, this has been another exciting episode of the Fan Fanatic Pep Rally. Happy 10 year, I mean, happy 10 episode anniversary. Later, fans. See how that sounds.